Hello, in this video we're going to look at what a database is. We're going to keep it as uh, short as possible, so here we go. Um, a database is essentially a place where you can store organised data. Um, and it's it's used in many, many organisations. It's, it's probably the backbone of, of all organisations, um, bar a few. So databases store a whole range of different things depending on what you need them for. Um, at my school, we have databases that store information about students and teachers. Um, you pop over to like a vet or something or a doctor's surgery and they'll have information about their patients. Um, you know, same thing with like dentists, go to a particular supermarket where they they hold information about their customers and what they buy and their stock. Um, you know, there's, there's databases everywhere. Go to the police station, they'll have all their information about the, the different criminals they have on file you know so you can find databases absolutely everywhere so it's a place to store data in an organized way here's a database about uh, music tracks and in this table uh, we have a few records okay um, we have 241 records a record is basically a collection of data so this record here number 241 we have different field names so let's just scroll this to the top so we can see we have different field names each field name stores a particular piece of data and when you collect all these pieces of data together it forms a record so this is track 241 the title is love train it has um, a genre of urban the artist is the ojs the album title is backstabbers and the year of release was in 1972. so we have a range of different um records here of different tracks and all from different genres and things like that. So how is it all organized? Well, first of all, let's take a look at the design view. And from here, we can see that we have our field name. So we have track ID, title, genre, artist, album title, and year release. And each uh, item of data, so each field name, actually has a data type associated with it. So the track ID is auto number. That is basically a number that's automatically generated. So every time I add a new record, it will get a new ID number. We have a short text for title, genre, artist, and album. That's basically, um, if you do programming and things like that, you'll know that text is uh, basically a string. And we also have your release, which is called a number. Um, you can get different types of um, file types as well. So short text, long text number, date, time, currency, yada, yada, yada. You use the most appropriate one for the particular type of data you're storing. Each field name or each data item, or let's say field name, each field name can only store one piece of data. Um, and it's important to get that data type correct. So we have here a database which has one table and all the information is stored in here. That's called a flat file database. So flat file database. We'll look at relational databases, which is another type of database in another video. But this video is all about this flat file database and what we can do with it. Now, just looking at this table view, the things I can kind of do, um, I can apply uh, some filters to this. So if I only want to show, for example, the uh, urban tracks, I can just hide all the other tracks and it shows me all the urban ones. Um, I can also sort the data. Um, by using some of the features so I can sort like A to Z in terms of track titles, okay, and things like that. But this is not the best way of doing it. The, the, the table is basically a place to store the information. And what we should do is use queries to find the information we need. And that's what this video is gonna look at as well. So it's a basic introduction into databases and queries. So as a train goes past my house, um, right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new query uh, and in this case we're going to use the let's go with query design okay so the first thing you need to do is select the table that you want the information to come from well we only have one so it's called music tracks I'm going to click add then I'm going to select the pieces of data that I want so I'm just going to include all the pieces of information for now so I'm going to double click on track ID then title genre artist album title and year of release now what I'm going to do is say, okay, under the criteria, I'm gonna give it a piece of data that I wanted to search for. So let's do RP for rock pop. You'll notice that it puts it in little speech marks. Um, that's fine. So 
When I run this query now, it will only ever find rock pop. Okay, so RP. If I go back into the design view and change this to UR, it'll find all the urban tracks instead. So I can save this now and go uh, call that one QRY for query and I'll call that one UR for urban. Now, I can keep doing that. Let's just make sure I've got everything on view. Okay, so now I've got my, my table and I've got a query. What I can now do is go, okay, let's create a new one, query design, add in my music tracks. I'll show you the shortcut for this now. If you double click on the top here, you can just drag it all into place instead of single clicking them. I'm going to do one for RP now. So RP into the criteria. I'll save that one, QRY, RP, and I click OK. So now I've got two queries. One will find the RP, one will find the UR, so rock pop and urban. Okay, so I've got two queries. These are what we call simple queries. Simple queries are ones where you only have one search criteria. Let's do a more complex query now where we'll go for urban tracks that were before, not after. Let's see, when, let's have a look at the urban tracks. So we've got ones from 2006, 2004. Let's say I want every urban track before 2000. So let's do the less than sign and stick in 2000. Now I've got a complex query because I've got two parameters, two criteria. So if I run that, now we can see our list has got dramatically shorter and it's finding only the urban tracks which were before the year 2000. If I went the other way around, so greater than 2000, we can see it's the other side of the spectrum, okay? So that's called a simple query, or sorry, a complex query, uh, because it actually has two search criteria. Let's do one more query, and uh, we'll finish the video here. Um, this time, I'm going to show you a cool thing using parameter queries. Um, parameter queries allow us to manually type in something as and when the query is run. So whereas here, if I run rock pop, It'll only find rock pop, and then I have to make another one to do the the urban. Well, let's find. Let's do another query, but this time we're going to do parameter query. And parameter queries use square brackets. So I'm going to say, uh, ask the question here. Um, what genre do you want to search for? Close the square brackets. I'll just make this a little bit longer. Okay, so you can see. And I'm also going to do um, the year of release. It's got to be less than, um, let's do enter earliest, um, no, let's do enter the latest year release. Okay, so I've got two searches now, uh, and this one, oops, this one is going to allow us to define the genre, and then it's going to look for tracks which are before the year of release that we were going to put in. So let's run that and see it working. So now, oops, um, what have I done? I've put in a speech mark somewhere. Oh, oh no, I'm missing a speech mark. run that. Okay, so now it says, what genre do you want to search for? So that was my question. So I'm going to search for, um, let's do rock pop. And it says, enter the, the, the latest year release. Well, let's do all the songs that was, that were up to this year. So let's just do, um, well, actually, let's make it 2005. And I really should turn my phone on silent. All right, so 2005, click OK. So now we've got tracks that are all RP, so that checked out, and if you look down this list, there should be no tracks that are uh, 2005 or higher. Um, if I wanted greater than or equal to 2005 to include tracks from 2005, I just have to change that to be equals to and less than. So that's it. Quick video that introduces databases and queries, um, and you can use that uh, to help you with the task I'm going to set you today.